Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise and I am in Gran Canaria, um, Mus Palomas. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably not going to be looking at the screen properly because I'm actually vlogging on my my camera. I don't do it that often and the the camera thing is off to the side. If I'm looking at myself, which I usually do so I know like what you can see. It looks like I'm not looking at you, but I am. I'm not looking at me, clearly. Um, so it's Monday the 12th of June and we've been here now, day four. Um, it is about two o'clock in the afternoon and I am outside the hotel. Now this is big because when I go on holiday, I literally stick to Scott like glue. I have this thing, if I'm in a country that doesn't speak English, I sort of get freaked out, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to communicate or, I don't know, I just get I'm really uncomfortable and this, oh, so many feelings, like the last video you would have seen, I mean I don't know how I'm going to put these up, so the last video that you would have seen at this point of me recording, I hope you can hear me, is um, that I put up how the, tri the trip coming here was and how traumatic it was. Um, since then, uh, yesterday, so that would have been Sunday the 11th, I spent the entire morning to myself. Uh, Scott stayed in the room, he wasn't feeling very well. Um, and I actually went down and got some lunch. About half past one he messaged and asked where I was. Um, no, he didn't even ask where I was, he just sent like um, smiley face wherever it was and I said you know you, you've been okay you slept well whatever do you want to eat and I'm down in the restaurant I'd already eaten at that point because I was hungry <laughs> and he came down we spent the rest of the day together so I've had a whole morning to myself and then so as of this point today uh, we got up we figured a whole new way of eating here like we don't have to stick to the, the regime we thought we had to and it was really nice we had a really chill morning we slept in um, went and had some coffee, uh, went and had a burger, we sat around the pool, sort of by the pool, like in the bar bit, but by the pool, we weren't actually in the bar, we was outside. Um, it's really warm today, but as you can see the clouds are out, it's not like sunny sunny, but it's really really warm. And um, we stayed there until, I don't know, 9, 10? 9.30, I think it was about 9.30. We went down, we had a coffee and stuff. And then we walked around a little bit. Um, went and found the place where the, the burgers are. I'll try and explain all that for anybody that, that is possibly thinking of coming here. I've got to hold this really weird now, my arm's killing me. Um, and yeah, so we had a really nice lunch. We've decided we're not gonna go to the evening meal and um, nap. Um, the, so the way we've been doing it is sort of like have our lunch go for a swim, take a nap so we can be up for the evening because, you know, we, we work early so our body clock is different. So we're not doing that today because the actual entertainment, it doesn't look like it's worth staying up for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and eat at a different place that we found, I'll explain that um, a bit earlier. Um, and then I think we're just gonna get a couple of drinks and I'm I actually, this, this is the exciting bit that I'm outside the hotel. I'm going down to a supermarket that we found the other day by myself, never done this before. Literally would never dream of leaving the hotel. Wouldn't even go down to the, the food place by myself. So I'm sort of feeling invigorated, inspired. Um, what's that word? Um, I can't think of the right wording. You know where you're sort of, I know I can do this stuff, but until you start doing it, you don't feel like you've got the courage to do it. I, that's, maybe that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but Scott's in the room because it's, it's intensely hot, even though the sun isn't out, and he gets like uncomfortable hot, whereas I like the heat. So he's gone to the room to cool down, even though the, the um, air conditioning is naff. Um, so I've come down to see if I can find some cards and crisps. And then we're going to pick up some sandwiches when we have our lunch a bit later on. And we're just going to spend the evening playing some card games, having a drink and some food in Rome. Um, but, you know, some people might think, okay, we've gone all the way to another country. That's what you're going to do. You could do that at home. But it's what we want to do. And that's what you do on holiday. We had a really, really chill day. We're going to have a chill day tomorrow because it's Scott's birthday. I'm really excited. 
and so the supermarket's just up here and I'm gonna go and see if I can find some cards come out the shop and I was trying to think how to explain it to you originally and my my initial first thought was it's silly that I feel the way I feel and the reason that I wasn't gonna hide the fact that that was my first thought is to show you that it's really hard to change the way you think when you've always used those type of words so and I started to think about it, let's change it. It's not silly, it's... It's not silly. It's just changing the way you do things. I know I can do this stuff, but I don't put myself out of my comfort zone to do it. But now I have. I went in there, totally comfortable. I've got everything I went in there for. I've got a pack of cards and two things of Chris. I had a really, really good look around. I felt totally comfortable. Recorded a little bit as you will you'll see that at some point. And now I've come out encouraged. I was trying to think of the right word. I'm now encouraged. Um, that it shows me I can do more than I feel I can do. So life is um, going where you want it to go. This is part of the journey. We've got to push every day when you have those moments of doubt, uh, using the wrong words, feeling in the wrong way. You can change it. We can change it. Um, as you can see, I'm not using the correct wording for myself on a regular basis, but we will get there. Um, so when you, you're using those wrong words, remember, think about it for a minute and let's change those words let's start making the positive words normal um, I'm lucky right now um, we're not in a you know we're on holiday so we're not stressed we're not thinking about work we haven't got everyday life and so it's really picking up on the negative words for me like it's constantly saying no that's not what you are like why are you saying that so it's, that's really helping because it's really easy to go back into that whole just using them without thinking about it so yeah it's been good I've just done something totally out of my comfort zone and I come out and I'm good <laughs> I did it I survived and I'm thinking I'm feeling positive you can have a good evening it's so hot out here like the sun is now but it's like sweltering Scott would have been miserable and one of the things I wanted to get was a pack of cards if I got them in the hotel I would have paid for 550 euro and I just got them for two so for like a, a five minute walk i save 350 you know like the frugal part of me is so happy right now um yeah so i'm about to go back into the hotel and chill out for the evening and i'm having hot dogs tonight i'm excited about hot dogs <laughs> i'm not a hot dog person that often but i'm excited um and i'm about to turn you around because there is a magnificent view behind you in front of me let me show you okay so I'm um, I'm done for the moment I may check in with you in a little while and uh, I might not it might be another day who knows but things are way better and I'm hoping that from the last vlog it was like quite 
negative as in like you know we we had the anxiety that was out of control i've got to try and control it some people commented and i'm going to look into the words they've used that that could have been so i know what we need to work on next um that's the point you help me and i hopefully hopefully i'm helping you um yeah it's a way way better day got some sun even though apparently my skin is not tolerating it at all like it's literally saying okay i don't care if the sun's out you're gonna stay white apparently that's the thing right now we are now on what well, we are monday so day four and i've tried to be in the sun i started off on a sun factor 30 the first day got nothing so okay let's go down for 15 nothing two days with no sun cream nothing so <laughs> The sun doesn't like me at the moment. That's fine. Everyone's going to be hot. Um, going to be darker than me when I get home because it's like really hot at home at the moment. How typical is that? So I'm going to go now and uh, speak to you when I speak to you.